you have decided that it is time to fire a difficult client. Yes, as a virtual assistant and virtual expert, you have the right to fire your clients. That's the good news. The bad news is you have to fire them. How do you do that with grace and professionalism and without burning bridges? That's the topic of today's video. Hi, I'm Kathy Guggenauer, business coach and trainer exclusively for virtual experts. I've helped hundreds of women just like you achieve their dreams of working from home as well-paid virtual experts. On this YouTube channel, I'm going to show you how to create a virtual expert career and gain the freedom, flexibility, and financial security you desire and deserve. Here are six steps to firing a client. Number one, review your contract. Before you begin the firing process, you want to be sure that you know exactly what you and your client both agreed to in the contract. Review the verbiage on how to terminate the contract. And by the way, it's usually that you have to put it in writing. Review the length of time you must give before you quit working with them. And that's often either 14 days, 30 days, or on more rare occasions, 60 days. Step two, advise the client. Decide on the best form of communication to begin the termination conversation. The best form of communication is usually what your client's preference has been. If it's via Zoom or phone, schedule a time to talk. If it's via email, send them an email. If you hold a meeting with them via Zoom or phone, follow up with an email. You want this information in writing and it's usually stated in your contract that termination has to be in writing and an email is in writing. The email should be short and to the point with pertinent facts included. Anytime I have difficult news to share, I use what I call a sandwich email. Your first paragraph is something pleasant. Your second paragraph is the difficult news. And the final paragraph is something else pleasant. Now, do not tell an outright lie, but do be polite and professional. If you struggle to come up with a polite professional reason why you're firing the client, here are a few that you might consider using. I've used them and I know they work. I am not the right person to help you meet your goals. I have decided to take my business in a different direction. Now, by the way, that new direction might be as basic as not with that client. I don't have the capacity to be the best for you at this time. Frame the conversation as if you are mainly thinking about the client's best interest and don't make it exclusively about you. Step three, don't complain about the client in public. And by public, I mean on any social media site, on anything that's recorded, or to anyone that isn't a close, loyal, confident, confidant. People talk. Have you noticed? <laughs> and they're going to tell someone who's going to tell someone who's going to tell someone. And before you know it, your soon-to-be former client has heard all about how much you hated working with them. Step four, refer the client to someone else if the client is a good client. Just not right for you. you can offer to refer them to another VA or VE. Now, before making that referral, be sure to ask that VA or VE if they're willing to accept the client. Step five, be prepared for your client to do one of two things. One, stop working with you immediately rather than waiting for the period of time you're contractually required to offer them. No biggie, right? Or number two, beg you to stay. How to handle that? Acknowledge their request to continue working with them and remain firm in your decision to stop working with them. You did not come to this decision lightly, so don't let them sway you. If they stop working with you immediately, celebrate! You have freed up that space, and you can move on to step number six. Step number six is find your next, even better for you, client. I truly believe that when you open up a space for your ideal client to step into, that new client will appear. Want to learn more about how to become a well-paid virtual expert? Click the link below to watch my free webinar. Also, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss one of my new videos. And then let me know what you think. What do you think about this video? And click like, please. Thank you.